Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn about Angular CLI generate command. Angular CLI is a very, very useful tool. We have seen the installation in previous video and we have also used it uh, heavily to install and or generate other components and services. Today, I'm going to deep dive and cover Angular CLI features that what all components, services, libraries, modules, you can generate so many Angular components which can add up to easy coding and also building an application faster and easy way. So using Angular CLI tool, we can, we can use the tool to auto-generate the code for projects, modules, components, services, interfaces, pipes, and much more. The best part about using Angular CLI command line interface to generate these is, is that it would help us in generating all the required files. It will update all the required files as well as it will arrange itself into updating all the required app.module or package.json, etc. We don't have to really worry about are, have we made the entry in that particular file or not that is auto, automatically taken care. So let's get started and see how to use Angular CLI tool to generate all our components of the application. Before we get started, friends, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also ask any of your technical queries you have on Angular material in the comment section, and I will be happy to provide you free help and advice. Thank you so much. We are continuing to build on our application that we are using in all of this tutorial series. This is Angular full tutorial series. So please don't, if you have missed any of the video, please you can go back and check those videos as well. All right, let's get started. So first let's generate some components. So the command is ng generate component and then you will provide the component name. The template of the command is pretty much common for all the things. Now I will say ng generate, I will say card. So card is a very um, loose thing. So I would just say, uh, what do we want to call it? Say uh, to do task card anything that you want to call let's i'm calling it as a card ng generate component the name of the component here is card now let's enter and you should see that it will generate you a couple of files and it will also make an update in app.module.ts file so here let's look closely it says it has created a component html component spec.ts which is our testing component card.ts file this is our controller main class where we will write our logic component.scss if we want to have the style sheet for that particular component in the that's also auto generated finally we have to tell the application that it has been generated that's where it would be updating in the app.module.ts you can also go and verify it manually and you can check that card component has been added the entry has been made under declarations which means now we are good to use this component. You can see here it has generated the component, added it, all the files are here for us to start using them. So this is how you generate a component. Now sim on the similar lines, you can just generate a service. So for that, you will write ng generate service, service name. Again, I'm giving the same, so I'm using plural here, ng generate service, service name is cards. So, or you can just, if you want the good practices have the same name as that of the component, so you can relate those things. So now it will generate us two files. One is the service file, one is the service.spec file. Now this is a very important thing that whenever we see there is no update in app.module, that's because these are singleton objects and they are already provided in the root. I'll cover that in the next tutorial, but for now you can use ng generate service service and the name of the service is card. So it, you can give any name you want for the service and you should see that the card is generated here. Card as service and service.spec.ts file. You can also tell your application to give a structure. You don't want all the files in one go right so what we can do is we can say 
make a directory and call it services so so now you would see there is a services folder that should be created okay so it has created one level up because we are in one level up so let's go into the app okay it gives error no worries uh, let's go and check for this so it's here we are we need to go under apps and now we are in under src and app so now let's generate it again and now i'm saying we want to generate a folder called services and now we can see our services folder is ready let's navigate into our services folder and now again i will generate a new service and i'm going to call this as tasks you can call it anything i'm calling it tasks generate and now you would see that this will generate you two files which is again service.ts file and a service.spec file or oh, expand the services you will see so this way you can organize your code and the files based on the folder structure so remember one thing whichever folder you are in whichever command you will generate it will generate it there so this was about component and service how about some more things exploring let's generate a module do we have to write every time no there's a shortcut you can use ng generate module module name is users so i can generate a module so now it has generated a module for us so we can see here so now we can see that there is a new module that we generated and it's right here for us to use which is refresh and you will see a new module which is called users where is it so services oh it has gone under users so you can pull it back and say at app level move it will automatically update it in the path so now we move the users module right at the app level we have to make the corresponding change so it has generated but there is no logic to it so you can use modules to to segregate the functionality to build the components under one roof so you can use module now similarly you can use ng generate pipe pipe name we can say filter results so i'm generating a new pipe with the name filter results and it has created the files it has updated in app.module so similarly you can generate a lot of um, readily available tools you can navigate to the angular cli documentation and there are a lot of uh, important things that angular cli can be used for right from building to deploying to configuration to ng test i will cover all of that in one by one in tutorials but for today we are focusing on ng generate so so this is your homework try generating other things like directive we saw component we saw service we saw pipe and we also generated a module similarly you can generate interface library etc all of this you can generate using ng generate command before i leave you i'll show you one last thing ng generate now what do we want to generate say we want to generate a directive we want to generate directive give the name directive and then the name of it and i'll call it hover so i am now generating a new directive by the name hover and you can see it has made the it has created the files and it has updated in app.module we can see it here in the app.module file so these are, this is a quick start guide uh, it will help us to create the respective files and update the respective app.modules whichever you are in whichever module you are you are in and whichever module you want to create in okay and how do we do that let's see that so i'm stepping out now i'm going into the module which is users so you can see here i'm under so src app users src app users so i am inside the users module 
and I'm generating a component. I'll call it registration, register, let's call it register. So now you will see that this register component is created and the updation has been made in the users module and not the app.ts module. Like I said, Angular CLI will look into the directory we are in and then it will understand the context and generate the respective components inside, inside that particular module. Since we are under users module, it has generated and updated it inside the users module. Remember that this is an important step. That's all I want to cover today. But for your homework, I am, I am leaving few for you to try it out. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you some other important features of Angular CLI like build, test, run, serve. So stay tuned for the next tutorial. In the meanwhile, go ahead and give a try to all these other options that you can do to generate other components and options. Thank you so much for joining in this video. I will see you in the next tutorial. Till then, you take care and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any technical queries or doubts, don't forget to drop a line in the comment section. I will provide you free help and advice. Thank you so much for joining in this episode.